Gravity is the traction of any two things that have mass. When gravity is gone, liquids behave very differently. Those forces can be used to drive huge amounts of liquid in space. In fact, a million times more liquid will participate in space in a wicking kind of problem than will on the ground. It's very important to understand the effects of surface tension on an engineering system, and especially when it's a life support system. We heard that the Italians were sending an espresso machine to an Italian astronaut on the space station. When we heard that they were going to be drinking espresso, that complicated drink, we knew that that drink is heavily dominated by gravity on Earth. There's CO2 bubbles that form and rise, that forms a crema, aromatics waft up. It's all that stuff is driven by gravity. We thought that all that stuff could be missed. And so we thought, hey, if they had a cup and it was transparent, we could actually film that stuff and then show folks all the, all the complexities that are actually going on. This is a sidelight activity that we thought we could not pass up. So we pursued NASA to do this and they actually uh, uh, accepted our proposal. And so we began this journey as a small company to get these things up into space and test them on our own. The Space Cup actually exploits three critical elements that are required for all capillary systems. Geometry, wetting characteristics, and surface tension. Astronauts use drink bags right now. They're safe, it's the way to go, they've been doing it for decades. In 2008, Don Pettit sent us his complaint about sucking liquids from bags. We said, hey, you could use this certain shape and it would have these certain properties. He was able to construct that shape with materials that were on space station. To go to space is a very expensive action. Oftentimes we want to test our theories on the ground. We use a drop tower at Portland State University if we design the experiment correctly, we can see exactly what the astronauts would see in space. The astronauts will be taking this on their own. They'll probably be passing these things, basically throwing them back and forth to each other with a whole variety of drinks, whatever they choose. If our models can be made to work for these complex fluids, then they're certainly going to be able to work for brines and urine and contaminated water streams. We use our approach to design systems for Earth, microfluidic systems, systems for point-of-care diagnostics, field sampling, blood draws, medical tubing, things that prevent bubbles from going where they should. We've been doing this for quite some time, and now we have found application to one problem after another after another. Please prepare for a drop. We all want to see this work. We want to see systems become more reliable, more robust. We know we have something really unique here. There are currently six of these cups on Earth. The other six are in space. 